like a rhinestone cowboy. What's up, people? Alrighty, there's a new glitch out there that gets you unlimited souls. I'm talking about just infinity forever, really fast. It's a pretty crazy glitch, but for some reason, people on YouTube just don't know how to explain this right. They're leaving out very important things that might not even make it work for some people. But don't worry, Epic Gamer World is here to rescue the day once again, rescue you from all the shitty YouTubers that make shitty tutorial videos. Even the ones with hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I'm going to give you the best guide on YouTube like I always do. I'm going to give you a completely new technique that's going to work for every single person. So if it didn't work for you before, you came to the right video. I mean, a recent study just revealed that I make the best tutorial videos on YouTube. Another recent study shows that I'm a fucking retard and I just make up shit so I sound cool. Let me tell you this though, this is gonna ruin the game for you. I personally would not do this. I've been waiting too long for this game. I'm just here to whore out some views, you know, to grow my shitty YouTube channel. Well, now that you know how much of a dingleberry snurf herder fucktard I am, let's get on with the tutorial. Okay, you're going to need one Ashen Estes flask in your tool belt slot. All the rest have to be empty. You can't have any in the other slots. Right here, you're gonna need a shield. Doesn't matter which kind, just one that you can parry with. And down here, you're gonna want all these slots empty at the very bottom, except for the first one, you need a boss soul. You need the soul of a boss that you killed. This is a weak one right here. Some of them give like 10 times as many souls as this. All right, so you'll notice that if you're a square and you push square, It'll say if you want to use this, do not press yes. If you press yes, you're going to use it and you're going to miss out on the glitch. And let me tell you this real quick. Back up your save on a USB stick. It's super easy, super fast. Just do it just in case. Now there's going to be a combo of buttons you're going to have to press at the right time. They want you to time it just at the right millisecond to get it done. They say right whenever your swing is right when it's fully extended it's about to go down that's when you press it see the thing that's wrong with that is that everybody's tvs are different some people don't have game mode on their tv a lot of tvs have the post processing and it has delay so people are sitting there for 30 minutes trying to figure out why it's not working they're timing it right and everything but it's not your fault it's the fucktards who taught you this shit well let me show you the combo then i'll show you my technique that's way better than this Okay, so what you're going to do is hold down on the directional pad at all times. You press L2 to parry, then you press square, options, or that touchpad, and then X. That is the combo. If you're on Xbox and you don't know which buttons to press because the shapes are different on the controller, then you're a fucking retard, and I can't even believe that you know how to work YouTube and find videos. I'm going to show you a couple different techniques, different ways to hold the controller, because you have to time this thing perfect. I'm going to show you how to time it perfect, exactly when to press the button, how to do it easier, you have to do it literally just like right at the exact time or it's not going to work. And that's one thing that these other videos fail to show you is the exact timing. I'll show you a couple different techniques on how to hold the controller to make it easier for you to press the buttons. Now, this is the first way I was holding the controller and I was having some pretty good results. This was actually in real time. I was actually doing it in the game and then recording it. So you can see the exact timing that you needed to do it. A little bit hard to hold the controller like that and then you got to be kind of coordinated with your fingers you know what I'm saying there's actually an easier way that I found at the end where it's getting it almost every single time oh well, let me get my nut rag there we go give it some extra grip and traction set it on there the nuts gonna dry it like glue you should try it but anyways this one this technique right here gave me the best results I was able to time it perfectly and I was pressing the touchpad up here instead of the options button and I was getting the timing down perfect so what you want to do is you're going to be pressing L2 with that finger right there and holding down. So you're going to be pressing square with your right finger and then touch pad and then you press X. And for some reason, like the timing that it takes for you to reach over there and press the buttons is perfect every time. So here is the exact time you want to do it. Bam, bam, bam. And I'll show you when to exactly start the combo, okay? Because... The timing on when you start the combo is very, very important too. Now, since everybody's TV has different delays, uh, best thing to do, if you cannot turn your TV on to game mode, which will reduce and get rid of the delays, go by the sound. You could do it without even actually looking at the screen. As soon as you hear the sound, you want to press the combo. So you parry, and then it's the instant you hear that sound, that's when you want to start the combo with the square options, then X. So hopefully you're not so retarded that you don't know what the sound is there it is right there the foo foo so as soon as you hear that do the combo now uh, you'll know when you did it right whenever you see the hud the little thing down there with your shield and the soul when it disappears completely that's when you know it works so 
it's saying to use your soul and it's still there you can see the icon on the bottom don't do it because it's gonna destroy it so see if you mess up like that just push no 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 you want that thing to disappear completely now let me show you what it's supposed to look like when you know you did it right Alrighty, let me try this time. Try hard. Okay, gonna do it. Oh, bam, got it. Did you see how the HUD disappeared at the bottom? That's the only time that you should say yes, that you want to use the soul. Here, see, we did it again. It disappeared. Let's see if we can do it again. As long as that thing disappears, the HUD's gone, then we're good to go. And there's one more technique that people say is even easier than this. And they say to backstep. And what you're gonna do is backstep, and as soon as your feet touch the ground, that's when you start the combo. I didn't really have too much luck trying it, but people swear by it and say it's a lot easier. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want tutorials that are actually good and tell you the correct way and awesome way to do stuff. I have guides on how to beat all the bosses, and they are the best on YouTube, no doubt about it. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I love you all, and remember, Stay epic. Oh yeah, stop cheating, bitch.